In this episode, I want us to start by creating an express server and to do that, you will need a code editor. My preferred code editor is Visual Studio Code. You can download the same if you want to have the same experience as me. And then the next thing that you will need is Node.js. So visit Node.js.org and download the recommended version here. So this version is more stable than the current version. So I recommend you download the recommended version for most users here. So once you download and install Node.js, now you can go to your desktop and create a new folder. And I will call this folder man. And then inside this folder, I'll create two new other folders. The first one, I'll call it front end. And in this folder is where we'll be working on our React app. The second folder will be backend, and this is where we'll be working on our Node.js app backend. So right now, uh, we will start by working on our backend, and then later on, we'll move on to the front end. So I'll click the backend here and visit this path by pressing cmd this should open that path on the command prompt and here we are the first thing that you may want to do is to make sure that node.js is installed in your machine so run this command node hyphen v and this should give you the version of node that you are running in your machine if you don't see the version that you are running, maybe you get an error, you'll know that Node.js is not installed in your machine and you may need to try and reinstall it, okay? The next thing is that I want to open this folder on Visual Studio Code. So there is a shorthand for that. Just run this command, code and a period. And when I press enter, this folder should open on Visual Studio Code so here we are so we need to install a few dependencies for us to create our express server and uh, let's come back to our command prompt here and to do this we first need to generate a package dot json file so to generate this uh, file you need to run this command npm init and then we apply a flag a yes flag enter and a package.json file have been just generated for us okay and with this we can now be able to install other dependencies that we will be needing in our application so at the bottom here i will install two dependencies that we are going to use in this episode so npm i the first dependency is express and Express is a Node.js framework that makes creating of routes or endpoints much easier, okay? And then the second dependency we will be needing is Nodemon. And Nodemon will allow us to automatically run our server whenever we make a, a change in our files, okay? So I'll press enter and this should install Express and Nodemon in our application so nodemon have been installed and i am using version 2.0 and express version 4.17 okay once this is done i can minimize this and maximize my code editor here and when you look at my package.json file here you will see that at our dependencies we have express and nodemon and these are just the dependencies that we just installed now we can go ahead and create a new file at our backend folder and this will be the root of our application i'll call this file index.js so right here i can say index.js enter and now in this index.js file we can try to create our first express application okay the first thing that we need to do is to require 
express and store it in a constant so i'll say const express to be equal to require in brackets here express and then to create an express application all we need to do is to to invoke this express as a function so right here i can say const app will be equal to express and invoke this as a function and now this app will represent our express application okay and with this we can actually create our first route and uh, you can do this app dot get so this is a get request so with app dot get you can fetch something from this route and uh, you can use other CRUD operations with app so we can have app dot get app dot put app dot delete so this app have a lot of useful methods that we will be using in this application okay so let's create our first route here app dot get and then the first parameter for this one is the route or the endpoint that you want this one to be so i can press this to be just the home and then the second parameter can be a callback function and in this callback function i can pass two parameters that is request and uh, this is what we are getting from the client to uh, our server here and also we have a response and a response is what we are giving back to the client okay and with this we can do something in here okay so this is just an arrow function and we can do something in here and uh, what i want us to do is to send back something to the client using our response so we can say press dot send and in here we can just have a welcome message welcome to our to do's api okay so this is it and uh, this should be an arrow function and this is how we simply create an endpoint so in future when we work with mongodb we will be able to uh, get data from our database and send that data to the front end and then we need to listen to a port so right here i can say app dot listen and then the first parameter is usually a port so we can listen on port 5000 so right here i can say 5000 and then the second parameter optionally you can log something to the console so right here i can say console.log dot log server uh, we can have a message here server running on port 5000 just like that so later on we will be replacing this port with uh, an environment variable okay and we'll see how we can do that but for now let's see if this implementation works so i'll come to cmd and run this command node and then the name of the file index.js and this should run our server so enter and now you can see server running on port 5000 and this is the exact message that we pressed here so now when we visit localhost 5000 we should get this message welcome to our to do's api so i'll come back to the browser here open a new tab and visit localhost uh, 5000 enter and there we go welcome to our to do's api so earlier we installed nodemon and nodemon will allow us every time we make a change it will automatically restart our server 
so if I come to my code editor and make a change here okay I have included three dots at the end so for us to see these changes on the front end what we will need to do is to stop the server and run node, node index.js again and we don't want that that is a, a very bad developer experience for us so what we can do is to stop the server and run this using nodemon so nodemon will automatically detect our index.js file and uh, run it by default and it will restart the server every time we make a change on our files enter so now you can see server running on port 5000 if i come back to my browser and uh, refresh we should see these changes but now let me change uh, something let me maybe delete it again so you'll see that our server will restart so when i come back here and just refresh we should see that the changes were applied so yeah congratulations you have just created your first express application so next we will start working with mongodb